Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, so I'm back again with a history video. Uh, we just finished the show on the Mahdi, uh, the fake Mahdi, uh, Muhammad Hassan, um, whatever his, his name is, right? Which, uh, again, if, if you're going to be the Mahdi, um, you're going to be in Arab, uh, and your name is going to be Muhammad ibn Abdullah, right? And so, I mean, if you're going to claim to be the, the Mahdi, the least you could do is have the name proper, right? Okay. Um, so, uh, I mentioned uh, a person by the name of Ibn Tumar, right? Um, his uh, actual name is Muhammad Ibn Abdullah uh, al Bedri, right? So he was a Berber, right? He was an African, uh, North African to be exact, right? Um, some say he was born in the Anti Atlas Mountains, um, but a lot of best, right? Anyway, so I'll, I'll try to keep this short, right? Um, so the, the story goes with him, right? Uh, one day he decided that he needs to go on a religious religious pilgrimage, right? Um, and so Ibn Tumar he embarks on this ten year journey, right, to go to like a big Hajj and, and just travel to um, some of the other famous Islamic sites and stuff, and, and and to learn you know more about his Islam, his religion, right? And so he's a scholar, right? Uh, and he uh he stops in Iran, right, and then studies under Imam Al Ghazali. Um, and obviously everyone knows Imam al-Ghazali, he's one of the, the, the famous uh, scholars and theologians um, of Islam, right? So a lot of folks have uh, a lot of respect for Imam al-Ghazali, uh, and as you should, right? So uh, Ibn Tumar studies under Imam al-Ghazali, uh, and so back home, right, the Berbers, right? Uh, this is the al Murabits at the time. They're in charge of the, the Berber lands um, and Al-Andalus um, and, and like Cordoba, right? So, uh, which, side note, I need to, um, now that I do this video here on Ibn Tumar, I need to go back in time after this, eventually, and cover, um, the last of the Umayyads, I don't know about the first, and how he fled from, um, uh, the Arabian Peninsula all the way to, uh, news. but that's a different story for a different day, uh, we're focusing on Ibn Tumar, right? So, the Berbers at the time, uh, the, the, the El Marabits, right, they were kind of like the, the Khawadij, um, they had a very harsh view and like strict stern uh interpretations of islam right and so they would reject like any sort of like i guess human interpretations of the quran uh, and so it was a very harsh viewing of 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 islam um it wasn't like they take everything very literal similar to the to the quarters right so they were kind of like the quarters of like north africa right so um imam al ghazali he he wrote the book um the revival of the religious sciences which is one of his, his most famous books right and so the uh the El Murabid said this book here is heresy and they burnt this book, right? So this this uh this made El Ghazali uh Imam El Ghazali furious, right? And so he said, You, uh Muhammad Ibn Abdullah al Berber, right? You, you Ibn Tumar, you are a Berber, right? Go back to your lands, right? Go go back to your lands. You study under me, you're one of my best but my best and brightest uh students, right? And go tell your people that my book is not uh, hearsay and literacy and, you know, condemn them for this and, and guide them to the way, right? So, uh, Ibn Tumar goes back to the, uh, <laughs> Ibn Tumar goes back to his, you know, uh, land, right? And he starts to preach to them about how, listen, like, you guys aren't practicing the proper things. Uh, Ibn al has taught me this, that, and third. Um, but the El Murabits are like, listen, we're not listening to you at all. Like, you're just, you're just saying things like, you're just, be gone or we're gonna kill you, right? So he gets banished, right, from uh, the area. And so, he, but some folks do believe him, because I mean, again, at this point in time, right, he is knowledgeable of his religion, right? So he knows what he's talking about, right? Um, but <laughs> as time goes on, and he is in a, a distant part of the um, El Marabit kingdom, he starts to have a following, and they start to believe in him more and more and more, and he's knowledgeable, right? And then one day he, he just says, you know what? My name is Muhammad Ibn Abdullah, all right? Uh, I am the Mahdi, all right? I am the Mahdi. And so people are like, oh, of course, of, of, how, can we, how can we not know that the Mahdi will be born uh, a Berber? Because obviously we're going to be the chosen ones, right? Your name ch checks out. You studied overseas with the best scholars. Um, you're more knowledgeable than we are. We're going to believe you, right? But some of the Shias are like, yeah, nah, you're not the Mahdi, right? So then, so then after a few days, he says, oh, also, I'm Ahlul Bayt, right? 
and you can trace my lineage back to um, Fatima, right? Uh, and that makes me Ahlul Bayt and the Mahdi, so you don't have anything to say against me, right? And so folks are, folks are like, okay, maybe a Mahdi, I don't know. Um, we we, we kind of believe you, some of us don't, right? But he had amassed a, a cult following, right? So these cult followers, right, they're loyal to him, and they believe that he's the Mahdi, so he's going to lead them to the right path, because he is, you know, the Amir Mu'mineen, right? And, I mean, you have to understand, the, the Berbers, right, the Del Marab and stuff, they, they've had, like, multiple spats with the Fatimids at the time. Because they, again, both of them are in Africa. The Fatimids are in, uh, like, like uh, towards the more Arabian society of Egypt and all that stuff, right? So they've had that's with them, with the Fatimid stuff. Um, and so they're not going to, like, just take heed to the Fatimids or um, the Abbasids uh, or the Seljuks, right? So, like, yeah, we're going to do our own thing. So this guy, this guy can be our Mahdi, right? And so they believe him wholeheartedly. And he says, listen... I need some of you or one of you to do this for me, right? So we're gonna dig a grave and you're gonna go get this grave, right? And then I will go to the market, right? Because I have to get people to believe, besides you guys, to believe me that I'm the Mahdi, right? So I have these powers and whatnot, all right? So these folks come to him, right? And uh, <laughs> these folks come to him and like, yes, I'll do it, Ibn Tabarth, right? I'll, I'll dig the grave, I'll bury myself in the grave and then, um, you can uh you can take control and go tell everyone, hey, listen, uh follow me to the graveyard and I'll show you that I am the Mahdi, right? So he goes to the market and he's like, Everyone, 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 I uh Muhammad ibn uh, Muhammad ibn Abdullah al Bedr, right? Uh, I am from you, I am from your, your lands, I've studied with the best of scholars, I've studied with, with Imam Khazari, I've been to Mecca and Medina, right? So I'm well traveled. Uh, and you should believe me, right? When I tell you I am the Mahdi, right? Okay. And so he says, follow me to the graveyard, right? And and I will show you and prove to you that I'm the Mahdi, right? Because I can do something that only the Mahdi will be able to do, right? So he, again, because, you know, he's, at this point in time, right, like, he he's confident in himself, right? Because he's listening, like, I... He probably doesn't believe that he's, he's the Mahdi, but like he's saying it enough times, so people just have to believe in his pocket, right? So he he goes, yeah, I'm the Mahdi, um, and you're gonna have to just believe that I'm the Mahdi, right? And so some people are like, yeah, no, show us your Mahdi. So he, again, he leads me to the graveyard, and then he he, he goes to a certain grave, right? And he, he says, oh, dead one, all right? Yeah, dead one, all right? <laughs> Tell them that I am the Mahdi, right? And so folks are like, okay, hold on, it's gonna say anything, right? And the person from the grave, right, underneath all the dirt says, yes, you are the Mahdi, all right? <laughs> and so, and so, you know, this, like, charlatan, right, because this is this is early on, um, this charlatan is like, oh, yeah, but see, this, this dead guy told you, I'm the Mahdi, I'm the Mahdi. And so everyone's like, oh, mashallah, you're the Mahdi, all right? Um, and so you're going to lead us, right, and you're going to lead us to overthrow the, the al Marabits, right? Because the um, he obviously had beef with al Marabits and other people that had beef with al Marabits as well. But um, just like all the other fake Mahdi's when they pass away, uh, Ibn Tumar uh, dies uh, shortly after this. Um, and he doesn't actually get to see the overthrowing of the um, of the al Marabits. The al Marabits will get overthrown by um, his 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 successor, uh, Abdullah ibn Mu'min, I believe. Uh, he would overthrow the... the he would overthrow the El Marabids and then they would become the El Mahads. And the, the El Mahads would have like, they would have control over Angeles and Spain. They'd have control over a third of Africa. Uh, and that would, that would be like, you can you can kind of say that Ibn Tabar is like the catalyst, right? Um, for the, the El Marabids getting overthrown and coming and the El Mahads taking, taking over. But uh, that's the story of him. He would tell people to come out the grave or, or, or to call, talk to him through the grave. And again, like, if this had happened one time, okay. But he, he some somebody, somebody report said that this could happen like maybe five, six times. So imagine you're the the fifth guy, right? He's like, listen. So you remember what happened to uh, Aslan and uh, Fulan and uh, Junaid and yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I need you, all right, okay? Uh, I'll do a lot to come and dig your grave for me, buddy, all right? Okay, <laughs> but I, I promise you I'm going to get you out, all right? Eventually, you're like, nah, I do that, but... He did it enough times where he and uh, he got a uh, big enough following, and people just believed him, right? Because it's like, okay, well, yeah, uh, 
the the story spread like wildfire, right? Word of mouth. Mahdi, 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 Mahdi. I was there, and he freaking talked to the grave, and the grave spoke back to him. So now, definitely Mahdi. All right. Uh, so that is the story of Ibn Tumar. Um, and it's it's not it's not funny because like those folks are, are just like dying for their their belief in him. But like, you have to know like he 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 definitely isn't the Mahdi. Um, like he, he he's a a brother. He's not he, he's not out of um ensure the name is correct. But I mean, come on, like. Do you think that the Mahdi is going to come to you and say, hey, dig your own grave, and then just call out to me? Like, huh? Really now? But yeah, so that's the story of it, of uh, Muhammad uh, Ibn Abdullah al-Dadr, or Ibn Tabar, as he is most famously known. Assalamu alaikum.